What's up, guys? And welcome back to Need for Speed Payback. Isn't your crew called Hazard Company? We wanted a nice secluded spot to do some testing. You'll see. Sounds pretty crazy. To do some testing in a secluded spot. All right. Hopefully it's a little more exciting than uh, leaving a bunch of trash bags in the middle of the race. You guys missed our last episode. That was their idea of fun. So we'll see what happens here. We're off to a, uh, a pretty good start. We're up here in first. Shh, Dale! Calm down, buddy! Holy cow! He came up and had no, no remorse. Just ran us into the wall and then dipped off. All right. Screw you, Dale. Woo. Look up that wall, Trev. Push them into the walls, but stay off of them yourself. There we go. Dude, this is an absolutely insane course. That was not a good corner right there. Not a good section. I just didn't want to hit the trees. I swear every corner is surrounded by either trees or the opportunity to completely throw yourself off a cliff and ruin the race. Try to keep our speed up, but it's not easy. Tried to cut corners a little bit back there. Probably wasn't the best idea. Freaking Dale, dude. He's my worst enemy here. Dude, are you freaking... Fuck off, Dale! I'm, I'm actually kind of mad at Dale right now, dude. He's ridiculous. He runs us into every, like every corner he runs into us and, and throws us off. This is a lap race. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get first, boys. So if you guys didn't watch our last episode, basically we're racing way above our weight class here. Our truck level is is well below where it should be to be racing these guys. We're just kind of de depending on us being able to take corners and stuff better, but like this is just absolutely insanity. This course is like absolute mayhem. It doesn't help that you've got freaking Dale behind you running into you at every moment that he has. And if you ain't first, you're last. We've got to have first place, otherwise we're going to fail. Which is right up here. I can't even see what's happening in front of me. Nearing the end. Pick it up. Gotta get Peach, baby! If he tries to pass us, I think we're gonna have to take him out. Oh no. Absolutely horrible turn out of me at the end right there, dude. And it made all the difference. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna have to back this down off a of hard difficulty. I had a feeling that this was this was gonna happen. We're 60 levels below where we should be.
Although we could have won that right there without that bad turn at the end. But dude, that, there was just too much. There was too much happening. All right. We're going to have to retry that. Mission failed. Let's, um, let's do this again. Man, it's really weird what happens when you, uh, when you get to do a race without Dale running into you the whole time. I'm still upset we kind of failed that last turn on the last race, but, uh, dude, I mean, these guys are nowhere even close on our, our lineup this time. Frickin' Dale. It's, it's his fault, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the blame on Dale. Everybody was tweeting thanks Dale the other day because it was Dale Jr.'s last race. No. No, don't thank Dale. Dale's an asshole. Great, Dale Jr., if you, guys, if, if, if you happen to watch this video, I, I didn't actually mean it, but, uh... No, seriously, screw that Dale guy in the Bel Air. I think it was in a Bel Air. All right, boys, so... We've got the second half of this race to do. And I'm not playing it, I'm not playing it safe at all, dude. I'm racing harder than we did in the first one. Now I actually know the track since I've been around it a couple of times, so... I'm, I'm killing it, baby. Feels good. Right, followed by a slow left. Or left fall by slow right, I mean. Cut it straight. Woo! Skimming the walls. We got a 90 degree right, followed by a snake turn. Boys, I got this down. That was a little bit sloppy there, but we're okay. Now this is the section where we started to mess up a little bit. So this section right here, you want to go super, super fast, right? Wrong. If you go too fast, you're not going to be able to adequately, adequately hit that corner. So that's where we made our first mistake in that last lap. And then our second mistake was, again, too much speed coming up into this final turn. You've got these jumps. You just want to take it slow and easy. Keep your speed up. Straight to the finish. That's how we do it, boys. Got the win. Not even close. Aces. All right. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's what I'd like to see. We're going to take that middle card. It's going to be a level 11 gearbox. It's not going to get it done. Let's trade that in. And that's going to knock off another mission on this quest line. Let's go, boys. So let me get this straight. You're telling me the house is augmenting your cars? Come on, honey. You think these rednecks are really that good at driving? Bro, that's so screwed up. You gotta do what you gotta do to get that dream. You know just what I mean, right? <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Anything for the dream, huh? Good. I got a good idea. Next race is gonna be at one of my construction yards. You in? Sure. All right, we're gonna be taking an off-road race to the city, boys. Okay. Calling it now? I'm driving into a trap. And you're still going, aren't you? What to do what we gotta do. Besides, isn't it kind of exciting? That's the worst reason I've ever heard for walking into a trap. I aim to please. See you on the other side, bro. All right, boys. Let's go walk into this trap. I'm sure it's nothing we can't handle. All right, fellas. Like you made it to the construction site. This is gonna be a little sketchy, I'd, I'd say. Oh, I think didn't we race here in the Diablo? Arc Tower off road. Holtzman is invited to race one on one at one of his construction yards. Yep, sounds like a trap. Here we go, baby. This should be interesting. They got the greatest tower in the western United States. But for now, enjoy the race. So he's for real. Alright, we've got four laps here, boys. There's no uh no side bet or anything. Yeah, baby. This is gonna be insane, dude. I'm trying to catch up to this fool. I can hardly tell where our next turn is based off the mini-map. Woo! Clipped him. Let's go, baby. Okay, this is this is gonna be a race focused on uh, on just looking at what's in front of us. 
go through here? We can, and it's a nice little shortcut. Dude, this is absolute insanity. Is that lap one? Yeah, we're on lap two now. Okay. So it's just throw everything in the middle of the freaking track and, and hope you make it out okay. Now I'm leading the way and I'm not exactly sure where I'm going, but I'm gonna try my best, baby. Push it, push it. Dude, I'm not slowing down for nobody. Woo. That was actually pretty solid. He's right on us. Knock him into the wall, baby. That's all we gotta do. Okay, he's still on us. We didn't hit him hard enough, I guess. So we could take this inside here. We're on that three out of four, boys. You hit the entrance on the left. He always hits the entrance on the left, so I know for a fact that's got to be the, the shortcut. Final lap. That was a little bit sketchy right there, I'm not going to lie, but we got full nitrous. We kind of pulled away from him a little bit there. We haven't been making use of our nitrous enough, I don't think. Dude, this is a stressful race, I'll tell you guys that right now. One wrong lapse of judgment and like one long turn of the wrong turn of the wheel, not long turn. I guess a long turn could happen too. But one wrong little move. And we throw this entire thing out the window. Straight through here. Finish line is right there, baby! reach the escape point, of course. I was gonna say, wait, why didn't the race end? I knew he was buttering us up. You stupid cheek jackass. I tried to be nice to you. Tried to make you part of the family, you just threw it all in my face. How does this deserve a race like you? Good to hear. There's no way I'd ever race those corrupt assholes. Woo! No way, dude. This thing doesn't have the best handles. But I guess we're just going to be going in a straight line so we can deal with this. We got cops coming after us, dude. We're doing a, a buck sixty. Ouch, that's a hurt. Dude, I don't know how hitting these guys isn't sending them off the road. You get hit going 160 miles an hour by an F-150 Raptor, you're, you're, you're done. There's no way. You're getting shoved off the road. No questions asked. I've seen a lot of, a lot of comments of people like, dude, the cops are so annoying in this game. They're so unrealistic. If they weren't unrealistic, it'd be such a boring game, dude. You'd be able to get away from him so quick. They make it extra hard. Ooh, that was a nice move. And his buddy hit him too. But they make it extra hard just to, to make it more fun. I, think, I, I enjoy it. It's frustrating, but I enjoy the frustration. Oh, that was a nice move. <laughs> I feel bad for that car. One point nine miles left. Nice. Now head westbound. Uh, Parkway Tunnel. We got 
got a pretty solid KD ratio in this truck so far. I mean, you guys just keep coming and hitting me. I'm, I'm an immovable beast at this point. I'm a Ford Raptor going 100, 100 and whatever miles an hour. We were at like 120. But even if it's just 100, 100 miles an hour through the desert, you can't hang, baby. They can't hang. Looks like we made it, boys. We escaped. Whew. Maybe next time. That was insane, dude. But that wasn't the final. That wasn't the final race of this quest line. So there's gonna be one more thing against this guy. I wonder what we're gonna have to do. That was interesting. Level 12 ECU with speed. That sounds pretty good. Level 12 with nitrous. Not good enough. See, we've got one more race in this quest line. I wonder what comes next, because we already beat him one-on-one. -on -one. They called the cops like a poor loser. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. This ain't Holtzman. Who are you? Just someone from the crew. Look, we're not your biggest fans. But what Holtzman's doing with the house, it just doesn't sit right. What's up? I got some info for you. Sign of goodwill. Holtzman's hanging around with big storm drain working on a new course there. You want to challenge him? Head there. Hey, thanks. You didn't have to do that. Uh, don't mention it. Like, seriously, don't mention it to anyone. I got you, baby. So we're going to go give him a second chance? I mean, we already, we already challenged him. We already beat him. And he was a sore loser about it. And he called the cops. I wouldn't go back and give the man a second chance, but... I guess I'm not as mo noble as, as Mac is. Mac is, is all about that street cred. He wants to make sure people remember his name, so. We're gonna be dumb, we're gonna go right back into the snake's mouth here. Star goes on about Erica Costello being snake bitch. I feel like this dude would truly be snake bitch. Achieve a lap time 120 seconds or faster? Easy, we're gonna do that. Here we go, boys. Um, let's see what this is all about. Who tipped you off? Doesn't matter. Your crew isn't into your dirty tricks. Well, you want to see dirty tricks? I'll show you dirty tricks. <laughs> all right, baby. Here we go. I'm gonna Bring it on. Team. Let's see how well that works for you, homie. Okay. All right, he's taking the high road. I'm taking the low road. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude, this is the most insane racetrack I've I've ever seen. This easily takes the cake, dude. This hardware costs more than your work. I don't even see you back there, homie. I don't know why you're talking trash. There's dude, these races have been the races just in today's episode have been absolutely ridiculous. They have been so crazy. Just you and me this time. I promised my old friend, the collector, I'd take you out myself. Your old friends? Man, I would hate to go to your parties. Tell him, Mac! This one is the, uh, seriously, the craziest course that we've ever had. All right, we completed our side bet. We want to just take the same course? Oh, no. For a second there, I thought it said that he was in first and I was going to be really upset. Alright, we got to stick with this, Trav. We all got friends, Hulksman. 
<laughs> Not like these kids. Not like these. Dude, our speed is way down this time. We're struggling. We're gonna be okay. I mean, we're still way ahead of him. We kind of wrecked him back there in the first lap, but he kind of ran into us at the same time, so. You and your little crew are really starting to piss me off. This freaking track is really starting to piss me off. How about that? Dude, this is seriously. Our first lap went perfectly. Like all, we we bounced off of all the right things. We had the the correct speeds every time. The second lap has been a little bit rough. We're gonna be okay though. I mean, this section's easy. There's nothing to it. But the section with all the like pipes and stuff. Like, if you're going too fast, it's bad. If you're going too slow, it's bad. Like, you really got to be exact with everything that you do. It's an, pretty much impossible to tell what's coming. Hey, baby. Ooh, that was beautiful. Let's try taking the high road, just because I'm curious. Not much track left, Holtzman. Where are you? Watch your back, right here. Yeah, hey, baby. Keep her steady, Trev. Woo! It's time for takeoff. See what I mean? We came in too hot and we're hitting everything now. Because of it. We know we don't want to hit this pipe again. All right. Well, we saw him on the first lap and that was it. He put up a better fight in the last race when he was planning on calling the cops on us anyway. I think it's funny how it, every lap all this stuff is reset up and we're breaking through it again. These poor construction workers out there resetting up their stuff and then five minutes later some asshole in the F-150 Raptor comes through and tears it all up again. Alright boys, we've got one last big jump coming up here and uh it's gonna be straight to the finish. Jump on. Woo! Not as smooth as our second lap, but we were able to get the win. Say goodnight to this asshole. That feels good, man. And we beat our target time. Target was two minutes, we did a minute 34. Okay, so maybe we were going a little bit too hot on that track. Maybe that's why we, we struggled on that, that second lap. Level 12 turbo. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trade that out. Not gonna be able to use it. Probably won't make another off-roading view. I was thinking about trading it in, or sending it to the garage to, uh, to use. <gasps> oh, the Vulcan, oh yes. That is so sexy. Oh, the McLaren. Which model is that? P oh, it's the P1, duh. Holy cow. And then finally, the Porsche 918. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Whew. That is some sexy-ish. Wait a second. The outlaws rush. Morgan is in. Doesn't matter. We'll beat him, then I'm coming for you. Ooh, scary. <laughs> What's this? The final piece of the puzzle. Win and the house gets all of Silver Rock. Lose and the house will go bankrupt, paying me and everybody else back. Your casino. You want to bet? All in. I own the Outlaws Rush. You want to be this stupid? You're on. Ooh, that's a pretty big bet. What's your boss going to say? Well, when I hand him your casino, Anything I want him to say. Hope you're right. May the best man win. Oh, she will. Marcus just bet the casino? Are you crazy, bro? Tyler. Hello, Ty. Who is this? Wait, you don't recognize me? Oh, I should be hurt. 
You know, some disgruntled league members say I've become your press agent. The voice of the streets. <laughs> your crew's in the outlaws' rush. You did it. You know, I would congratulate you, but you're up for one hell of a fight. Just know you've got friends across the city who've seen what you can do. Godspeed, Tyler Morgan. Yo, everybody's pulling for us right now. Is this it? Are we about to take on the rush? <laughs> you guys pulled it off. I'll be down. We pulled it off, Jess. All of us, together. Good job. Come to the airfield. Time to figure out our strategy for race day. You got it. Alright, boys. That's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. And we are going to be planning for the Outlaw Rush. That was a rough crash. Anyway, guys, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.